guys, welcome to my channel. This is Enrich Dave, and if it's the first time on my channel, can they hit the subscribe button? So when I start drop my next video, you can always watch them. And if you're with any subscriber, I want to say a big thank you to you all. Okay. Alright guys, today we're gonna to be talking about how to recover a disabled account, how to recover AdMob disabled account, okay? So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Actually, I haven't dropped any video for some time now, okay? It's, I guess it's, always, it's been up to him so much, but I guess that I dropped my last video. So today, we'll be talking about how to recover a lost a disabled AdMob account, okay? Today's video is not just going to be about um, me explaining and explaining and all that, okay? Is what we are going to do step by step because we are going to see the process and we will show you guys how to do this. Okay, it's not just me telling you, it's what we are going to do to go ourselves. All right, so without wasting much of our time, let me just go straight to my Chrome. Okay, and I have this disabled account. Okay, let's use this one to work on this. Okay, so you know. Okay, as you can see, this account is disabled. Okay, this is Brian Robinson. As you can see, the account is disabled already. Okay, so once your account has been disabled, what you do when you get here is you just click on add this in, add sense accounts. So today, what I'm going to do is okay, I will show you guys a lot. Okay, you see, I should say this on my videos Google is not just a giveaway sites that she just create an app and then what she'll be expecting is for them to just start uh, crediting you or something it's not that kind of platform okay it's what you need to work you have to work to get a dollar from them for them to pay you a new dollar you have to work hard it's not just that you just leave just by self clicking you just click and click and click in your head it doesn't work out that way okay so guys one thing one thing one thing i found out we make mistake a lot on we all make mistake on this not that i'm actually exceptional but actually lately i've actually learned that these things are what we're supposed to look after a lot okay you see, you see whenever you get to any site that deals with what you are investing your money into you have to read their policies if i say anything you are doing always read their policies so you should notice they accept and things they don't accept you should just go there and just believe okay they do because you hear your friend says he do something like this so you just have to go there and do like this doesn't work out like that you have to go there you have to understand what you are getting yourself into you don't just have to because one person tell you 200 dollar per day 100 dollar per day then you just want to put your head inside and it should get it like that it doesn't work out that way okay even before you inform it you have to go through and you have to understand it don't lie to you so today today what i'll be doing is i'll be showing you guys some policies, things you should know and things you shouldn't know. Okay, I'll be wasting much of our time because of these things. Are things I'll just brief them here, and when you go back to your own phone or your laptop, when you get your laptop, you make sure that you read them appropriately. Because if I start reading them now, I'm sure I'm going to use audio day doing this. Okay, so without wasting much of our time, as you can see here. Um, access accounts disabled for invalid traffic. Remember, I said AdMob is owned by AdSense. Okay, AdMob is under AdSense. Okay, this is what I said before. AdSense is meant for YouTubers and if you own a website or you blogger. Okay, why AdMob is strictly meant for app. If you own an app, you might have your accounts that you can end with AdMob. Okay, so AdMob is under AdSense. Okay. So now let me just take you guys. So as you can see, access account disabled for infinite click. How was my account disabled? When you get here, I don't I don't really want to waste much of our time reading all this right now. But at least when you get here, just make sure you check all these things out. Make sure you read them, okay? So you can really understand 
what you are doing. So even when next, even maybe you're gonna be banned, maybe when she wants to create another account, you should know what to do and what not to do. That's why you have to read all this. How was my account disabled? As you can see, because we have because we have in because we have need to put it our appropriate decision system, we are able to provide publishers with any information about their account activities, including page user stock passes service and might be involved. Okay, so just make sure to read all this to the end. Okay, I promise you if you read all this to the end, eh? Yeah, you, you, on, your, on your next account, you are sure you are going to know what to do, even without me or anybody telling, even, even without me coming here to tell you, um, do this or don't do that. You should know what to do by yourself, okay? Even me, I'm even telling you this. It's not like maybe I'm, I'm, I'm built into it or something. It's what I've controlled, okay? I've found out that this is the way to end out of it. That is why I'm able to come here to just give you one or two hints on it okay so just make sure to go through all these things as you can see camera account pp be restored after being disabled for a valid click as you can see so just make sure to go through all this reach them to the end i don't want to waste much time making this video okay so what i will do right now is what i will do right now is once you get here after you read all this after you read all this, as long as your account has been um, disabled, what you are going to do is you are going to make an appeal to Admo. Okay, you make an appeal to Admo, and when making this appeal, don't have to lie, please. Just be straightforward to them because they knows what you do, they knows the way you get your click and everything. Okay, so once you get here, this place they wrote. As you can see, the first one was why was my account disabled? Okay, after that, the next question was the next question is can my account be 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 restated after being after being disabled for invalid after being disabled for invalid traffic? So once you read this now, we are ready to work with you to resolve issues you might have if you feel this decision was made in error and if you can maintain in good faith that the invalid click was due to action of neglect of of you or those from whom your responsible may be appealed. Just once you read this, just click on just click on invalid activities appeal for. Okay, just click on it and it's gonna take you to the next page right here. Okay, this is the page right here. Okay. As you can see here, invalid, uh, invalid uh, traffic appeal. This form can be used to this form can be used to appeal account disability is a blitzment decision made by Google Ad Traffic Quality Team. Okay, required form. Okay, so what you're going to do is once they have disabled your account, then you just come straight here okay you come straight here once you get here okay yeah so once you get here so once you get here once you get here this invalid once you get here now they ask so please enter your name so now you put in your name i'm putting in Hendrix. you're putting in this and my please enter your publisher ID, okay? So this is your publisher ID. Your publisher ID. You put your publisher ID. This your publisher ID is your above account already, okay? So once you put your publisher ID, you put it in your as you can see. This is an example of it here, and this is it here. So you come down here. I see your contact email is already there. Then your um example you are or app ID where your where your place where you are this where you are this in place. So what you just do is this is your app ID. This is my app ID. Then you go to your app ID of that your account was being banned. Then you copy it. Bring it down here. Paste it here. Then. The next one is URL or app ID where your app is being internet to display. Then you still put in your app ID as well. Yeah. Then yeah, now have you have you ever purchased traffic to your site mobile app? 
YouTube. If you have ever done this, or if so, if you've ever done any of this, probably you purchase in traffic to your app. Just make sure to click on yes. Okay, when you purchase the traffic and you self click, self again is also purchasing of traffic. So just click on yes. Okay, so then you come down, then you answer the next question and say, How do users get to your, to your mobile app? Okay, because I'm not doing the website or YouTube channel, what are things in the mobile app? So, how do users get to your mobile app and how do you promote your content? So, here, yeah, what I was going to answer is simple. I'm just going to say, is, Users, I'm not going to say, Users, sorry, Users get to my. This to so to this to and I promote my app. Um, right, I put my app to Google. Okay, so this is this on this. Okay, you just get to my app. How do you just get to your app? You just get to my app through Play Store and I promote my app through AdWord. Okay, so this is as simple as this. Okay, then the next question is going to be Have you or your, have you or your mobile have you, have you or your mobile app ever validated AdSense or Ad Manager program policy or terms and condition? If so, how? So have you ever validated AdSense rules? It's going to be yes, because if you've never validated it, they won't have banned your account. Okay, so I'm going to answer this question. I'm going to answer this question with yes, and I'll be giving them reason. Like, yes. Like, yes, I validated. What am I doing? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so it's gonna be here. Yeah. I'm gonna type in yes, I validated. About yes, I validated. Answers on. Answers. Rules by. By generating. By generating invalid. Invalid clicks to my mobile app. Okay, so yes, I will get access rules by generating invalid clicks to my mobile app. So that's one reason why my account was being banned. Okay, so that is this. That is that on that. So the next one is the next question is going to be what was the reason for invalid activities? On your mobile app, please provide details information about all specific reasons that you believe to be relevant in your case. Okay, so this is just talking about what's what is the reason for invalid click that you believe that make access block your account. That's what they're just talking about right there. So what I'm going to see here is going to be the cost of invalid clicks on my app is because I over clicked my ads. Okay, and this is one reason why this is one reason why most this is one reason why um Google ban most out of accounts because most times it's over clicking. Once you over click on your you definitely get banned because Google knows users don't like ads. They know that so you over clicking on it, you definitely get banned. Okay, so I'm gonna answer I'm, I'm going to answer this is gonna be the cost of invalid clicks on my app. Is because I over clicked on my I over clicked on my ads, so I'm just putting ads. So I'm click on my app and that is that for that. And the next question is going to be what changes will you implement to help improve ad traffic quality on your mobile 
app. So what changes are you going to make to this? Okay, so what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say is That is that on that question. So the last question, the last question is going to be: Please include any data from your mobile app, from your mobile app traffic logs or reports that indicate suspicious IP address referrals or requests which could explain invalid activities. So what he's just talking about is, you know, most times when you go bound your account, your clicks must have come from probably one phone server time from one IP server time. That's what this is all talking about. Like, what I mean, is there anywhere you are noticing you are getting high clicks, too much clicks from? But I mean, someone is using robots for you or something. Maybe we should just give them the full details here. So, for me, now, I don't really know where it's coming from. But if you know where it's coming from, you just, well, since I don't know, if you know where it's coming from, then you indicate it. Then, since I don't know where it's coming from, I'll just put on, I'll just click on no. Okay. Then, click on. This and this summit. Okay. And after submit, after submitting this, now look at the question. Look at the message you sent to me. Your email has been sent. Thank you for submitting an invalid activity appeal. Where is my confirmation email? If you don't see the confirmation email, just make sure to read all this. Okay. Make sure to read all this because I can't start really making you know, reading all this right now. Then, where should I be expecting a response? It's in most cases, I pay review within 72 business hours. Okay, so I guess within four to five days, like 72 hours, yes, within four to five, within three to four to five, you should be able to get a response back from Google. So, probably your account will be opened if. If you appeal is coming, that means if you don't lie to them, I don't lie to you, you know how to put any lie to them, you will give them reasons for them to pity you and open your account. You understand? So, this is this on how to recover your admin accounts. If you want to recover your admin accounts, just make sure to do this, okay? So, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to give it a like. Okay, and also comment if you want me to do more videos on Arnold, also comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Alright guys, peace out.